everyone, my name is Ming Fei and I work in Azure Media Services as a program manager. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you how to configure PlayReady license delivery through Azure Media Services portal. PlayReady license service is one of the new features that we just launched. Allows you to configure a PlayReady license server to deliver PlayReady license to your devices. Meanwhile, you could also apply static encryption or dynamic encryption with PlayReady content protection to protect your premium content. And here is how this works. There's a new tab added in the portal called Content Protection tab. And under Content Protection, there's a section that allows you to configure default PlayReady license service policy. When the first time you get into the portal, you may notice none of these buttons are clickable. There are two things you have to do in order to enable the usage of PlayReady license service configuration. First of all, you need to go to Microsoft Azure Preview Feature page on azure.microsoft.com slash services slash preview. You will find PlayReady um, service on one of the tab here and click on try it. After you finish that, come back to the portal page. There is a section at the bottom of the page called branding reporting. This is necessary in order to activate your API and portal access. Here are some of the fields that allows you to tell us a little bit more about how you want to use PlayReady uh, services for what kind of service that you're building. So by giving us the information and clicking on save button, after 15 minutes, your service will be enabled. And here is how you could configure PlayReady license service policy. The section above um, give you an option to configure license authorization policy with either open or token. So if we choose token, you will need to fill in your issuer uh, URL and also the scope of your token issue service. By clicking Manage Verification Key, so we um, allows you to configure simple web token SWT with us and you're gonna sign the token with a verification key that in the way we could verify your token. You can either uh, supplying a random generated string or uh, generate a string um, by pressing regenerate button. And lastly, you could uh, type in um, a customized claim for your token here. After configuring license authorization policy, the next section is to configure PlayReady rights template. We have given you some of the common uh, used fields, such as uh, you could define your license type to be non-persistent or persistent with begin date, expiration date. Um, meanwhile, you could also say, um, I don't allow test devices here. In order to understand how to configure all this field, you can um, go to our MSDN article, which linked in this balloon, that uh, understand how to configure the rights and restrictions that you want for PlayReady DRM runtime to enforce when the user is trying to play back protected content. After finish the setting, uh, by clicking on the save button at the bottom of the page, after a few seconds, the content protection configuration setting will be applied. After that's done, we are going to navigate to the content tab. There are two options you have for encrypting your content with PlayReady license. The first option is to do a static encryption, which means you pre-encrypt the file with PlayReady uh, license and deliver a static encrypted stream. And you could select one of the source file and click on encode. And there is a preset gets added called encode with PlayReady content protection. And you could give a uh, content output name. Click on OK. 
What happened behind the scene is our encoder will kick start two jobs. First of all, to encode this WMV file into smooth streaming uh, file and apply um, PlayReady encryption with uh, PlayReady. So you can see here, there is a demo video PR intermediate clear output. That's a smooth streaming file. And there is a demo video PR which um, encrypt this smooth streaming file with PlayReady uh, license. And uh, to save some of the waiting time, I already um, pre-executed this step, which you can see this, uh, since the file has been already encrypted, it shows the encryption status as a static encrypted with PlayReady. And by clicking on the publish button, now we will see a streaming URL here delivers PlayReady common encryption uh, with smooth streaming file. And we give you a play button in the portal to test the content. Once you play on, uh, click on the play button, a silver light player will launch, uh, and it will show you how the file gets played in the player. And as I said, there's the second option for you to configure PlayReady, which is called PlayReady Dynamic Encryption. So different from static encryption, the file are getting encrypted on the fly with the PlayReady um, content key that you supplied. By doing that, it's very simple. Click on encryption button at the bottom and click on enable PlayReady encryption. And we will be generating a content key and applying the PlayReady license template you configured under the content protection tab just now. Again, publish the uh, video uh, stream, which now you will be getting a URL allows you to deliver a st uh, dynamic encrypted PlayReady content. And click on, uh, similarly click, click on play button. And you can see that besides deliver a uh, play ready encrypted smooth streaming file, you could also further package the content um, into HLS by just appending the following string um, on the URL 